So I start with my online research. So this is an article I want to download. I can you know, download it. Um, I usually download it to my desktop and tag it as research. Um, it's not there right now. Anyway, tag it as research. And when it hits my desktop, um, I have a automation app called Hazel that automatically files it in two different places. So the first place it goes to is Bookends. Now Bookends is my citation manager. And here, obviously, I can fill in all the details, um, make sure that when I finally cite something, it shows up correctly. The next thing I do, or the other place it files it, is to an app called DevonThink. Now, DevonThink is kind of like a uh, information database manager. It's a lot like Evernote, but way more, has a lot more features, and it has um, a lot of AI built in to help you kind of process things automatically. So when, um, when Hazel files this automatically into this program, it goes to the inbox, and then I have some automatic rules that for now send any PDF to my research file. It labels it as to do, and then as I process things, I can change it to different labels. Uh, that's Hazel actually working in the background. Um, anyway, so when I get an article, I can, it, here, here's an example. Here's an article that I looked at. It's important to my research. The cool thing is, is Devin think, um, is you can take annotations. So I highlighted this and it keeps track of my annotations over here. If I wanted to write a note, I could say this is important um, and show me where I have a little note. Another cool thing is you can search anything and everything um, and it'll show you all the different places where that is. Uh, it will also, I can also search the entire database, I can search this file, I can search everything, and it also makes these, um, it'll show you where things are similar. So these documents have similarities to them. Um, so it kind of can help you jump around to see what other things you have um, that might, you know, make sense to read together and try to help you make connections. However, I didn't find this really sufficient to help me make connections. So this is where my next app comes into play. And this is called Tinderbox. It's not Tinder, it's Tinderbox. It's a content manager and it really helps you kind of, uh, to me, it's like where I keep my ideas and thought processes. This is my home base where I come in to start. Um, this is how I organize things, coursework, professional development. Um, you can see things in this map view, so everything's got its own little buckets. Um, so if I went into, so my conflict assessment and prevention, here's one of the weeks I mapped out the concepts uh, from my notes that week. And it really kind of helped me think through everything that I was learning. You can take notes on different things um, and just kind of really help make those connections. For paper development, though, I have found that the outline view is easier to, I don't know, think through the paper, right? So here's all my brainstorming sections and then my um, kind of outline sections where I just kind of threw together basic brainstorming. This will be my intro, my literature review. You know, these are the main sections I had envisioned my paper including. And then as I kind of built the paper, I started adding these sub headings. Now, how I process the information, once I have annotated an article, I want to get this information in, you know, my notes and everything into my content, into Tinderbox. So I go back to Tinderbox and um, I make a note for every, every article I've read. Um, let me try to find a good one. 
this one work. So for every article I read, I uh, actually can drag and drop the bookend citation into here and it kind of formats it for me, which those two apps speak together really well. And then for every article, I have four questions I ask that you can see. I keep these on hand. These are the four questions I ask for every article I read, how it answers my research question, other additional information I want to keep track of, what the author's original question was, and the author's original answer. That kind of helps me keep context in mind. So as I'm going through each article, um, I compare it to, I usually have these on two screens, but I'll have Dev and Think on one side and this on the other, and I'll just start taking notes. Let's see, I'm filling in the notes. Um, one I did recently. Now the next thing is the cool part is I can start actually making links. So I've decided that this, so the first link I make is back to Dev and Think. I copy and paste the link from Dev and Think and copy and paste the link from here into here so that say I'm in here and I'm like, I don't remember what this article was really about. I can just click on that link and it brings up the article. I love that. Um, but when I'm in Tinderbox, I can also make links inside here. So I felt that this best suited to my literature review in the subsection constrained. So I just, well, for an instance, I could take this word and make a link to constrained. Create the link. Now, if I want to go there, just click constrained. And then I can write the note in here, okay, so-and-so McCormick made this point by politics as a primary de determinant. So as I'm filling in these, my research, I can just make these links. Go back to constrained um, from Jordan. I made that link. And then, um, let me see here, I liked throwers. Now I also have, um, I thought that that indicated an executive advantage. So I made that link go from here. I made it go to executive counter moves. I'm not going to remake that link. It's already there. Um, and so then I can go here. And I, I just start writing in these notes and making backlinks to the article that originally came from. It's just copying and pasting and dragging a link. Um, it's really easy. And then when I'm ready to write my paper, I just go to my intro and, or my literature review and start writing from here. And I can easily cite because I've got my citation manager. It's easy to import them. And when I'm trying to think about maybe that article said something else I liked, I could just go back to the article and see the context in which it was stated and really just bounce around between here and Word and Dev and Think. So that is how I like to do research.